I have a confession that I'm going to air out into the entire world on YouTube. I have a computer problem. Well, not just one computer, I have lots of computers. Hi, welcome to the next episode of Hey, What's Next? Part of what I wanted to do with this channel, which so far we've described solar, we've looked at audio, but computers is also part of the channel. And for our first video, we're going to look at this laptop back here, the Evolve 3, which is $80 at Micro Center currently, and at least our Micro Center has a ton in stock. So, what does an iFixit case, an Amazon Prime package, and the Evolve 3 have to do with today's video? Let's find out. This is what's next. So here it is, the Evolve 3 laptop. Uh, it's a 11.6 inch display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. Uh, Micro Center currently has this available for around $80. Uh, our local Micro Center has a ton of them. Um, who knows, maybe they'll go less. But for $80, you know, is it a decent laptop? It's not bad. Um, I purchased this a year ago, and while it did come with Windows 10 Education, uh, I deleted it and installed Linux Mint. Um, so, it, to force myself to learn Linux, so I'll take this out sometimes, um, you know, upstairs um, with no other electronic device. And I'll use this to learn Linux. Um, one of the things that I have to do with this particular laptop uh, is the fact that every time I do an update, I have to reset the wireless card. I'll show that in a few moments as there is an update to Linux Mint. So there is the uh, information related to the laptop. Um, I guess there are three, maybe even four versions of this. Um, so. You know, uh, I don't know what Micro Center is currently selling, but they are selling the LTE version. So yeah, there is a SIM slot right here for a uh, wireless connection to 4G LTE. We also have an HDMI, a USB 3, our DC port. This is what the DC adapter looks like. On the other side, we have a micro SD card, USB 2, and your headphone jack. Now, one of the things that I have noticed about this laptop is that it is not easy to open. I mean, you wouldn't be able to do this with one hand, so it does require you to open it up like so. Uh, the keyboard, I would say, is probably a smaller size, an 80 or 90% full-size uh, keyboard. Uh, it's a little harder for me to type on. The keyboard itself is okay, but it's not great. So the trackpad is terrible. That's where you could use an extra mouse. So Linux Mint is currently on this laptop, and like I said, we're gonna do an upgrade. I'll show you how to do reset the Wi-Fi card. So this is the Evolve 3 website. From what I gather, it looks like it's an Australian company, but uh, maybe you guys could correct me in the comments below. Uh, this was designed for education. I did look at their product listing for uh, notebooks, and I did not see this particular laptop uh, listed anymore. It looks like it may have been replaced by the T3. If you happen to go to education, uh, you're going to notice that uh, the T3 is listed. Uh, a little bit newer laptop, obviously. Uh, and then they have this particular laptop, uh, which is the uh, Megabook. And then they have like a tablet of some sort. So yeah, it does not look like uh, the Evolve 3, this particular model, uh, is actually being sold uh, through the Evolve 3 website. So the overall specs are, this is an Intel Celeron N3450 uh, running at 1.1 gigahertz up to boosts of 2.2. Uh, it is a low power DDR4 RAM running at 2133 megahertz. Uh, it does have the Intel HD 500 uh, graphics, the integrated graphics, which watching videos on this uh, with uh, YouTube, 720p seems to work. If it's a local file, 1080 seems to work fine on it. it has built-in 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage. 
And as I stated earlier, this has an 11.6 inch screen uh, with a resolution of 1366 by 768, running at 60 hertz. So one of the things that we're going to try to do today is we're going to add this solid state drive and we have a USB-C connection with that similar plug. We're going to try that as well today. So let's take this baby apart and let's see what's on the inside. All right, so there we are. Uh, as you can see right now, we have the LTE card. Um, there's all the connections here. Um, there's no fan, so this is truly a uh, silent PC. Here's your battery with 5,500 milliamp or 41.8 watt hours, uh, running at 7.6 volts. Let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. So the battery is now disconnected. And let's begin the process of taking out the LTE. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to slowly take this out. Um, and we have the antennas right there. So that is your LTE card. Uh, if you want to know the uh, part number, it looks like it's EC25-AF. So there you go. That's the LTE card. All right, so I can't take full credit for this. I learned this from Action Retro uh, a week or two ago when he went in. Um, oh, that's nice. They even give you the little screws. That's pretty cool. So this is a 128 megabyte card. I'll leave a link below. Um, so basically, this should just fit right in. We're going to take the antenna. That's the Wi-Fi antenna. And we're going to put this card just like so. Okay. Well, it definitely doesn't seem like it fits in exactly the same way, so I guess we'll find out. There we go. Well, the EMCC storage works, uh, it's a little slow, so that's the reason why we're going to try to use the solid state drive. Uh, as we look around the uh, laptop real quick, so you're going to see that we have speakers on either side. They're okay. Uh, either use headphones or some other means of audio transmission to a speaker system. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos with this over the last uh, year, uh, and to be honest, I like it. Uh, it's not terrible. The screen on it is so-so, so, um, anyways, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just leave these cables here, and we're going to put the lid back on, but this time we're not going to screw it in. We're just going to snap it into place. So it just snaps in like that. Okay. And we have everything is all snapped back in, it looks like. Yep. Okay. Let's power it up and see what happens. And there we go. It's booting up. Uh, we're going to go into Menu, Preferences, Discs, ha! and there it is, the 128 gigabyte drive. Let's go ahead and unallocated space. Let's create a partition. We're going to call this SSD 128, create. And there we go. We now have an SSD in the computer. So if we go back into here, uh, this is the 
micro SD card, we have the 128 gigabyte drive, and this is the file system, which is the EMC EMCC storage. So, first step in upgrading this Evolve 3, I would say that's a success. Let me get the screws back in, and we're going to do an upgrade, and we'll show you how to reset the Wi-Fi on the Evolve 3 Maestro laptop. Okay, we're back. So let's take a look at uh, where we're at with this update. So if we go into System Info, you're going to see that we're running, running Linux Mint 21.2 Cinnamon. Um, you'll also know that my, my Wi-Fi is broken. So if we happen to zoom into the screen a little bit, you'll notice that now it's it's basically not connected. So how do we fix this? Um, there are definitely plenty of tutorials online. I will show you what I do to get this back up and running. I've written a series of instructions. Yes, using LibreOffice. So basically first we're going to open up our terminal. And because I already have the, the download of the files, so if we happen to go into files real quick and we go into downloads, uh, there is the RTW88-Master. Um, I'll leave a link in the video uh, somewhere below uh, in regards to where you can get this. We're already on step two, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this information. And we're going to go back to our terminal, and we're going to paste it. Okay, and hit enter. So that changes our directory to that RTW88-Master. Um, we are then going to say make, okay, and it runs through some commands, okay, and now that we're going to do sudo make install. We're going to enter our password, okay, we're going to exit. And we're going to go ahead and restart the device, and we should then have Wi-Fi. Okay, after a quick reboot, we now see that our Wi-Fi is working again. So I'm connected to the network, so I should be able to access the old interwebs. And there we go, we are now connected. So I just wanted to run a quick sysbench test. Uh, where it'll calculate primes up to 20,000. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that, go into the terminal, do Control Shift V, and hit Enter. And this will take a few moments. Um, for Linux, this is a, just a good test to see what the processor can do. And we're going to see in just a few moments that in roughly it took 10 seconds and the total number of events, 4,213, with the events per second of 421. Well, I forgot to mention one thing. Um, the USB-C cable to the 1.5 millimeter power jack, it works. Uh, I've been charging the laptop with it. Uh, you can see here, it's connected up to my 18 volt connection on the Pecron. I'll leave a... Uh, link in the description below uh, if you're interested in this as well. So let's wrap up this video for my final thoughts on the Evolve 3 Maestro laptop from Micro Center. Uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, for my purpose, I just love tinkering with it. If you love tinkering with things, why not, you know, pick one up. If you're looking for a Raspberry Pi alternative, this actually may be it. I mean, for the money, $80. You get your computer, your keyboard, an okay monitor, uh, the power supply, everything is already in there. So again, load Linux on it. For my use, I'm forcing myself to use Linux um, and also using it as a writing tool. And so to take a laptop, disconnect it from the internet and go do some fun stuff with it, as far as writing is concerned, you know, with no distractions, then, you know, again, I find a use for everything. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Tell me your thoughts on this or any other inexpensive laptop that maybe you've picked up. 
Uh, maybe you're using it for the same thing I am, just learning Linux and playing around and having a little bit of fun. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate that. Thank you for taking the time to do that. Uh, until the next time, we'll see you again on Hey, What's Next?